dear 14. 12.56 p.m. The housemates are waiting for the start of this week's shopping task. Nikki has been in bed for five minutes. Over the next 24 hours, Big Brother will test the housemates' intelligence, memory and bad dress sense as they're transformed into geeks. If they pass the task, they will receive a luxury shopping budget of £308. If they fail, they'll receive a basic budget of £77. Big Brother has set up a train track in the garden. Guys, it's open. Train Training, train your Oh, oh, yes, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 Right, OK. Housemates, for the first part of the geek task, all the housemates will become train spotters. Trains may pass along the track in the garden at any time, day or night. Trains will be signalled by a train whistle noise. Whenever geeks hear this noise, at least one geek must go into the garden to spot the train and write down the correct train information on the blackboard by the pool. The following information must be noted down for each train. Train model name, train time and the train destination. Each geek must spot and note down the information for at least one train in order to pass the task so everyone has to have a go. Geeks must memorise the train names in full, including the numbers, as the information sheet will be removed after 30 minutes. No. Get spotting. How many is there? Right, open that. Open that, oh, shall I? So can, so can um, two people do it? Can <laughs> one person read the train yeah. information? The black clock, Highland Express, Metro Intercity, 150, Gemini, Gemini High Speed Flyer. Yeah, I can't, I'm going to go crazy. I, I will I, go I, crazy. I, 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 the housemates have been learning to train spot for seven minutes. What's this one? Oh, Jeez. mate, you can't ask me that. I know that one like the back of mine. Gemini High Speed Flyer X 5000. I don't know that one. Nikki, what's the middle one? Intercity 150. Metro. 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 Close. Good yeah. one there. Everyone coming! Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Nice. Yeah. Metro Intercity 150. 150. <laughs> and it's going to Brighton. 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 Who spotted that? Me. <laughs> so I'm done. So next time I'll write and then I'm. that's me done. Should do it like that. Yeah. One, Spot one, should do it at the, the time it comes out of the tunnel. Where are they? I guess it's quite fun. fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Stop being oh, cool. Don't even look at them. What's yeah. the green train? Metro Intercity 150. The grey one. <laughs> the Gemini High Speed Flyer. And the bottom one? Alpine Express CS400. Oh. 2 or 6 pm. Sam and Imogen are in the bedroom. Nikki, Lisa, and Richard are in the kitchen. Caesar, Mikey, and Ashleen are in the garden. Do you know what I'd love? I'd really love to be a DJ. Yeah? Female DJ. Can you see it? <laughs> Bikini DJ. DJ in my bikini. On the beach? <laughs> what would be a DJ name? I don't know. Let's make one up. A ghetto princess. <laughs> That's what I said in my thing. I, I, I'm a bit of a ghetto princess. I think I said that about you as soon as I saw you. Really? Garden. No, I'm joking. This is oh, a ghetto princess. That Might you just get a hoe. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not. I'm oh, joking. Home. What did you say? But it's obvious, you know, you're kind of a streety girl. 
Really? You got? Yeah, well, I don't know. I think it takes one to know one. Yeah. And I right. kind of, you know, I grew up in the streets. streets. So you can kind of tell the way that someone carries and talks. No, okay. What, did you go in there and say she's yeah. common from the streets? No, I did say, yeah, she's a, she's a street girl. She's got attitude. Street girls, yeah, they're kind of dragged up rather than brought up. They all have attitudes. Did you say that? I, what I said I'll never was, get employed again by my agency. No, no, to what be I did that. say was you can kind of tell, yeah, she's, she's not silver spoon girl. She's, yeah, she's come from the streets. In not 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 maybe like that, but because I didn't word it in a nasty way, I said. Um, Tell me, I don't mind. How did I word it? I'm not anyway. Yeah. You know, I exactly, we all know. What's <laughs> uh, you, you know, where do you live? You live in Camden. Camden. Where was you? Where Told was you ya. brought up? Always I was to brought the up in a nice area, always Regent's Park. But I always wanted to like be the same as my friends and live in like council flat. Because <laughs> kids just want to be the same as everyone else, don't they? I did. I moved out when I was 16. Why did you do that for? Uh, wanted mm. to find my dad. So. so what happened when you met him? He rolled up to the house in a Porsche and like all the Your girls in the hostel teeth. were hating, proper hating, you know, like because we were proper poor, broke on our face and then my, my yeah. dad rolls up like a hero yeah. to come and save me, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so he came up the stairs, he's like, I'm a bit worried though because you might not like me because I'm fat. I was like, oh, oh shut up, you weren't even fat. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even fat, he's just big. So he knocked on the door and I opened the door and I just flopped my sh I was shaking, my whole body was shaking, I just flung my arms around him and he was like in tears, he's like, I can't believe you loved me straight away. I How old was you? Like, I was like 16, mm. 17 then, or 18, I can't remember. So are you sound with him now, yeah? No, I couldn't live without him. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> 251 pm. Some of the housemates are in the living area. <laughs> I thought you had to the, the bread in the oven to make toast. Oh, Glenn, Glenn. you're such a sweet toast. <laughs> 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 hey, I would have put bread in there. No, they Nikki and Sam are in the garden. So you went at about, you don't mind, do you? I can't look at you and think that you're a boy, because you don't look like a boy. I know, because like, all my friends that know me, right? Um, Only in that <laughs> I know, tell me about it. I know, it's totally shocking. Bastards. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, even my friends sometimes forget, and they're like, oh, God. Uh, they'll so be like, do you they'll be like, oh, are you in your PMT? Okay, this is I sit down, I sit down, I sit down, and you oh, don't need you to you don't go me. into the men's, you go into the ladies. Obviously, yeah. And you stand over the toilet. Sit. Sit on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind, I'm just interested. And do you wear boxer shorts? <laughs> no, I wear girls. How do you get it in, though? <sighs> I'm just me, that's all I can say. I wanna know. <laughs> oh, so cute. Sorry, Chuck. Liverpool. Liverpool, I got Liverpool. Liverpool, um... Shit, if he gets the wrong one, can't tell him, can we? No, you know the train. Look, time Just first, time first. Try and picture it on the sheet. The colour, what was the colour? Yellow. Yeah. Okay, and what was the... Think about where it was on the sheet. It was the bottom one. Right. Yeah. And what was it? Uh, Alpine Express. Come on, Glenn. You've got this, Glenn. Glenn. Can you say Glenn? Yeah, Glenn, come on. <laughs> Express. Think about it. D. Good boy. Sexy. 400. Yeah. Cool. It's about you done now. <laughs> yeah, I love the unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah, Thanks, man. Thanks, man. All my friends are straight. I have no gay friends. I've never even been to a gay club before, and I, I just want to be known as a person as opposed to a stereotype. Because I'm but unique in my own way. But do you fancy guys or girls? The guys. So you are it's kind of It's as though I'm a gay. female. Yeah, well, obviously, in that department, yeah. But you you do understand you'd have to go for gay guys. Yeah. Do you know that? Obviously. Three twenty nine p.m. Richard 
Nikki, Sam and Leah are in the kitchen. Do you think The Guardian is really, the, the evening standard is really interested in people in a fucking game show? The reality is, no, they're not. So all this talk about people going, this and that, and what the paparazzi going to say about me, it's just fucking crap. I'm tired of hearing it. Thank you, Leah. Grace, Imogen, Glyn, Mikey and Caesar are in the garden. What do you talk about when you pull birds? I don't know, really. Uh, do you have a chat about like what what they do? Oh, yeah. like, what, what, what they do? Know, what you do? Like a, what goes I, on in the town? Are they enjoying themselves? Local gossip. Whether they like children, can they cook? Yeah. Can they do? Yeah, like what do you enjoy do doing? You quiz them. Like do you give them like like an interview? No, you, have to, take a, you have to take an interest in what they're saying, don't you? Yeah. It's like even if they're talking about shit. Mate, women are simple, right? Yeah, Glenn. Here, here's here's the secrets to women. Uh. <laughs> Girls, you need to back me up on this. <laughs> you need to back me up on this because I'm going to give Glenn some pearls of wisdom on uh, women. Okay, come on. Two simple rules you have to follow okay. and you'll have a 100% hit rate. Oh, right, hang on a minute. I've got to hear this. Sorry, yeah, right. Go on. Come on, for the tension. Come on, then. Let me hear what one thing you're going to come out with. You've got to make them feel special. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? Glenn, is he oh, trying to give you a tip? Is he trying to give you a Do not listen. Do yeah. not fucking take it. I've got one for you. I always wear clean underwear. <laughs> Girls Go like on, clean what's underwear. The next one, Caesar? <laughs> well, the second one is simple. I like so. no underwear. Just got to make them laugh. No laugh at yourself. Women like it when you laugh at yourself. Make right. jokes yeah. about yourself. Yeah, that's true. And if you can laugh I at yourself. I haven't had you do that though, Caesar. <laughs> I always take the piss out of myself just quietly. And usually in bed, only to Imogen. You do that, mate. You're sorted. You get a bird like Imogen. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Remember that. 5.25 p.m. Ashleen, Lisa, Imogen and Grace are in the kitchen. Apparently, yeah, if you share a house with women, yeah, they all come on, on me and my friends come on. Because it's me and you on, yeah. and Leah. Yeah. Are you come on? Yeah. 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 Are you on? No, I'll come on soon. Really? I'll come on soon, Leah. Leah is in the diary room. What have you enjoyed about being in the house the most so far? Pete and Dickie. Love her. A brilliant. Let me roll. Just, I don't know. Um, and being accepted as well for the way that I am. Um, not being judged, um, not being criticised, not being belittled. Um, not being... Just not being treated like a freak. Caesar, Mikey and Glyn are in the garden. <laughs> if, if, if Leah same around to you and like was proper interested yeah. even though she's not Welsh would you be interested yeah so would like, you move yeah. out of Wales yeah or even though she's got a son that's 11 years old doesn't matter uh, you he's only seven years younger than me you know what I mean so would you look after this would you let him call your dad I wouldn't ask him to call me dad I'd call I'd make them call oh, me Glenn if, if I'm not said, a star, he has to call your dad if you want to be with me and move out to Wales Go on then. That's <laughs> 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 what I do. I want to get married and have children, With and Leah. do you know what I mean? With Leah. Yeah, but when I turn 20. If she came in now, popped the ring, and went, listen, big boy, just fucking. <laughs> oh, you can have this for the rest oh, of your life. 30. 30, what? 45, maybe? Nah, 45. Nah, 30, nah. She said? Oh, right. Well, 35. 35? 35, she is, definitely. So when I turn 30, she's going to be. 12 years, add to 35. Pardon? She would be 47 when yeah. I turn 30. Yeah, we've got to get you snogging, Leah, then. Once once we're all pissed up and stuff, we'll go from mm. from, from that dance to a snog. you at least got a snogger. But it'd be easier for, for him to pull Ash. Ashley, yeah. Easy. Thanks. Only because of the age thing. Mm. Yeah, but Ashley, that's a different type of boy. Yeah, true, yeah. yeah. It's right. going to be a nightmare. Yeah. She likes some people who's been in jail and stuff. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 6.31 p.m. Earlier, Grace randomly split the housemates into three groups for the next part of the geek task. Glyn, Imogen, Ashleen and Mikey are maths geeks who will be memorising their times tables. Each math geek must learn all of the time tables set by Big Brother. In the test, Maths Geek will be called one at a time to recite one of their timetables. 
Maths is cool, and so are you, big brother. Hey, okay. what, what time say was it to give us to recite? What is that? Just read it off. There's, there's four, four 13, well. 17, and 19. Give oh, my God. Give it four. Those are hard. Four, baby. Yeah, they're yeah. awesome. I know so, my, my four times. One times four is four, two times four is eight, three times four is twelve, four times four is sixteen. <laughs> I'm reading it out and I can't get it right. Pete, Leah, Lisa and Caesar are science geeks who must prepare lectures on given subjects for their fellow housemates. The lecture subjects are what is gravity? How is rain made? Can I do that one? Uh, where, where do, do babies, babies come, come from? from? Yeah. Can I please do that one and I'll know I'll pass that one. Okay. What is evolution? <laughs> I don't mind doing that. And how is rain made? What is gravity, basically? Well, which ones you want to do? I'll do whichever one's left over on the first. Um, okay. The baby one, please. All right, so baby one's gone, so it's these three. What is gravity? What is... How is rain made? I'll, I'll do rain. So do you know how I have to draw... Th do I, do I yeah. draw, like, a cock, a fanny and sponge? You can draw whatever you want. Oh, wicked. Yeah. You've got to do away. three diagrams, though. <laughs> Sam, Richard, Grace and Nikki are Klingon geeks who must learn the extraterrestrial language of Klingon. Nook 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 Klingon. 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 Big Brother has gathered all the housemates in the lounge for the results of this week's nominations. Oh, oh sick. Don't be. We all know it's you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Go back out. Oh, oh God. God. Um, the housemates nominated for the house this week are. Lisa. <laughs> in alphabetical order. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. You're right. <laughs> Caesar. It's got to be me. And I'm cool at that. Eh? Richard. Told you it'd be no. Yeah, okay. Told you it'd be oh, then there could be another and because it's still me. It's still me after you. And yeah. Oh, shit. It's me. I'm with you. It has to be me, there's no one else. Caesar. Well done, boys. No, great, mate. I'm fine about it all. Come on, guys, we're fine. No, two seconds. It could be another I'm good, man. Housemates are now free to leave the lounge. Oh, come on. Are you all right? Come on, you I'm and me. I'm fine about me. it. I told you, you I'm all good, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well done, you. And I told you. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Come on, we're all going to be up. <laughs> I always have last week as well. Are you all right? I'm late. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Right, babe. Don't worry, we knew it, you know, it's all right, it's us, it's cool. Come on, come on, come on. Who invited you to come it's on? It's all under. good on, in the hood. <laughs> no one feel guilty for how you vote, you know, like just exactly. that's whatever. When we get out and we see how it goes, it's all right, we'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> that I swear, I thought my name was coming. Honestly, I seriously just thought... I've got the biggest weight off my shoulders. I understand, oh. so fantastic. At least I get to CH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't it's know It's not over yet. You don't know your guy. Some people go for five nominations <laughs> and still don't get evicted, so... How do you know people don't like you? Yeah. Because they're not. You don't know how it's going to go. We'll be, we'll be surprised tomorrow when we find yeah. out. Nominated without you and Caesar even voting. That shows how I hated it. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> mm. Mm. Don't tell anyone what happened with us two. No one else is going to find that out. It stays between us four. But that's a good thing. Because I'm happy to go up against... Because, what, a young, a young decent-looking boy in the house, you know, you know, up against... <laughs> and I always said, as long as you're not in it and you're not in it, you were never going to be in it, that's a weight off my shoulders. Fine about the whole thing. And I said, I'm happy. I just wanted her to be in it. And it made me happy or Richard in it. And I'm happy with both in it. Which was a double shock for me. <laughs> Lisa, come here. Come here. I'm humiliated to say, man. 
Huh? Hi. <laughs> Hi, anyway. It wasn't just you, though, but it's not your vote. It's, it's not everyone your vote. felt the same. It's, it's, not... it's people who they've annoyed it or done something yeah, to it in right. the house. It's not right. just you. And then I think, well, they do understand you, don't I they? I feel very sorry on there, believe me. Believe me. <sighs> but well, at the end of the day. And I said this last night, and I just fucking... I just feel a bit fucking shit on her. And I feel shit on Rich, because we have had a laugh. But yeah, she has have. pissed me off lately. But at times, people have been, you know, and that's the thing. And they piss me off. Exactly, though. It's quite funny, though. I'm quite, you know... I always know I play on the edge, though. I'm always on the edge, so... It was always going to be the way for me. I'm not going to sit back and be a quiet person and, you know, not voice opinions and be everyone's friend, because that's not me. You're right, beautiful. How are you? Call me, you know. Call me. Yeah. You know, Zoya. <coughs> I'm dead, Zoya, you know. You know. I said I was sorry, didn't I? I know. Yeah, I've got my and, and, you know, if you're a lonely woman, you are. Exactly. I've had such a laugh with you, you know. And you're dead, dead, caring and everything. <laughs> but I get mad and I say stuff. It's all right, me. It 31 p.m. It's been one hour and 16 minutes since Big Brother revealed that Caesar, Leah, and Richard will face a public vote this week. You don't know if you're going to go. You have to wait. Trust me. It could be the way out. But you don't know, Leah. You might be staying. That's what I'm trying to say to you. You have a one in three chance. I have a one in three chance. Caesar has a one in three chance. So let's keep it like that. Mikey, Glynn and Ashleen are practising for their maths task in the garden. <laughs> what are you looking at, you? You make me laugh. <laughs> Why? Mm. I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> I'm in a playful mood. I want to play. Yeah, do I do something? Yeah, should we play? Well, then we'll study later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do, like, a train over the train track. <laughs> Go on. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Let's try and play that. But we have to be, do it in silence, cos they're studying. OK. <laughs> choo, choo! <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Get in. Choo! <laughs> <laughs> What's he done to <laughs> That's how fat I used to be. <laughs> really? Really? It really? was huge. It was massive. Is that how fat you was? I couldn't see my belly to my bum. You weren't that fat. Yeah. Fucking hell. Did you see your feet? No. I still can't now, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you haven't me feet in years. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa and Caesar are in the bedroom talking about Leah. When someone cries and cries and cries all the time... I know. It's just tears so after a while. It's like, you know, someone that says sorry, sorry, sorry all the time. Mm. It's just sorry after a while. It's just, you know, it, don't, it doesn't mean anything. And, you know, I'm sure she's got a big heart and everything. I know yeah, she loves I her like family me. to pieces. But she does not herself no favours and she mm. has fucked it up for herself. Really. That's the only thing. I mean, she came in here, she had two choices to make when she came in. One, either try and get rid of the stereotype, which she knew was going to be on her head as soon as she walked in, and just be a nice lady, think about what you're saying, and think about how it's perceived. But instead, mm. she came in and thought, fuck it, live up to the stereotype. And it's hard to feel sorry for someone when they're a mature woman and she's a smart woman and she's making mm. those choices and she took that choice. So it's hard to say, I feel sorry for her because. She knows the conclusions of what she's done. Mm. And that's why she cries, because she knows what she's doing. Yeah, really. And she knows she's fucking herself up by doing it, making herself look bad, but she chooses to do it, so... You know, she's coming and being herself, which I respect. But she's now got to face consequences at some point, whether it's this Friday or another Friday. There's always going to be consequences, and yeah, we've got to face them. 10.59pm. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. What are you doing? You're picking your spots? Yeah. What is it with you girls and spots in here? Everyone's got spots. Why has everyone got spots? Oh, well, I want one. I'll get a spot. I'll just be dirty and I'll get a spot. What are you trying to say? Cheeky <laughs> <She's> bastard. <laughs> Richard, Pete, Leah and Lisa are in the kitchen. Mikey and Glyn are by the bridge to nowhere. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I probably, I, I don't know what to say. Like. No. If I went into images now and said, you know what, I heard Richard telling fucking... Um, Leah, 
that you were a false bitch and you were fucking um, giving this false swarmy smile, mm. like saying, "How oh, are you? Okay?" And he was saying, like Richard was saying to Leah, fucking, um, yeah, all she ever does is fucking want to just go, "Oh Caesar, Caesar," hang around Caesar, but she's she's not just like that. Lad. She's fucking. I think she's sound mm. isn't it? She's a bit quiet than other people, mm. but it don't mean she's a fucking bitch. Right? You know what I mean? It's fucking mad the way like everyone's starting to be bitchy, bitch, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a lot of truth for these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. To be honest, mate, like, I don't really speak too much to Richard. Mm. But, you know, if it's, obviously we're living together. Yeah. I don't want to be fucking nasty to him because he's never been nasty to me. Mm. But I just don't really like him. Mm. I know what you mean. Twelve or six a.m. Richard, Pete, Glyn, Leah and Lisa are in the kitchen. Yesterday they attempted to make homebrew cider from apples, yeast and sugar. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, hooch. Right. Ready? Hooch! <laughs> the rest of the housemates are in the bedroom. I can imagine if you're evicting a fire and, uh, and then you're watching us on TV and the new guy comes in. What a fit-ass bloke who you just grew up for. I laughed my head off. It'll make me feel better, actually, because then I'll just go out and shag everything that moves. Otherwise, I won't. I'll just stay home and watch you guys and pine. All right, well, I'll tell you what, you're going to then Mikey and I'll have a new bloke. <laughs> <laughs> this is Big Brother. Would one housemate come oh, to no, the dance? Oh, go, 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 go. Piers, piers, piers. Oh, no, you know what it is, don't worry. Lisa, get the, get the bottle open and go meet me in the toilet. Hello, Richard. Hello. <laughs> Richard, for housemates' health and safety, Big Brother asks that you do not drink any more of the homemade alcohol. Oh, no, are you serious? However, Big Brother is prepared to exchange the six bottles of lager and the one bottle of rosé wine in front of you. OK. If the homemade alcohol is brought to the diary room immediately. OK, so I need to bring this hooch. Yes, Richard. OK, uh, let, me, let, me go get, let me get the hooch. I'll be right back. Thank you, Richard. OK. Apparently, your hooch... We can't drink it for health and safety. But they're willing to give us six beers and water and say, I've got it in there. But you've got to bring the hooch in. Oh. You have to exchange the hooch. No, they're confiscated. They're doing the night. And then you just bring some Oh, we can't. 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 Has been confiscated for health and safety. We have to take the hooch. They took it off yeah. us. We'll just make him make some more. Because we've been drinking yet and we've gotten a bit. <laughs> and they fucking found it. Fuck. Shit. They Yeah, you babes. They've asked for the fucking hooch. Have they really? Yeah. Why? Because they was watching us fucking eating fucking apples. Oh no. How was it? Really sickly but quite potent. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, but as long as it works, that's probably a good sign it tastes like crap. <laughs> <laughs> Shit man. That's a shame. I'm I think that was them. given to me, you know, but they took offence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they took it. Health and Devil, safety. Health and safety reasons. Oh, I'm just fucking eating up. I'm fucking have half a glass. 
Fucking devastating. What's health and safety about that? You may know. Because you're not, we're not allowed to make alcohol Ow. in the house. Fucking devastating. Yeah, but they knew we were making alcohol. I know, I know. why did they Let's stop see everything. before? <laughs> <laughs> and as I'm walking in, I've stopped at the kitchen doors and I can see the reflection and I see it go behind one of the sofas to pick up a crate. And I've turned back in. And then, oh, it's scandalous. And... Yeah. Is there booze outside? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You look like skanks. Why? You look like hiding alcohol. <laughs> yeah, we are sharing the house together. How's that? We're bad. We've got the. <laughs> Well, they're booking sort the fucking each. Yeah, but there's no need to hide alcohol from people. Do you want to drink with us? No, well, that's a bit silly. Well, come drink with us. Rich, come on, mate. Let's be mature. I know you've all been drinking fucking and having a good time. Fucking though, mate. They fucking talk me each of me now. No, I know, Lise. That's not nice. That's not nice. Yeah. But I don't mean everyone else should get shit on in the process. No. It's not the fact that you want to drink it. It's more the point that you're hiding it, which is an absolute piss take. No, you're right. We're really bad. You know, and it's the way you hid it. I knew you were hiding it, Pete, out there. And that's a piss take in itself. You're right. But so, then now okay, you guys I'll tell you what. Yeah, you know, he's trying to fluff over it. Take, take what you want and then we'll drink the well, rest. No, because that we're going to stay up. Anything. It's not about the drink, it's the principle. I'm, okay, it's not take about what you want drink. and we'll, we'll drink the rest. I don't want any drink to be honest because it's that important to you. Look, you'll have it. Fucking top of each. They're kicking off, Mikey. I don't know. It's out of order. It's so out of We're meant to be sharing this house together for Christ's sake. So selfish. The thing is, Caesar, we apologise, right? right? It's so don't. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Most okay. reminded we drink it. We drink it. We're, we're, we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Remember, Caesar, last night you and Imogen were having conversations about everyone in this house, and I heard yeah, all those conversations. Oh, 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 and I heard you. I heard you, oh, mate. Don't start chatting shit, right? To... I heard you speaking to Leah, and I heard you chatting about Imogen. Yes. Okay. Glyn's heard exactly what you said. What did okay? I say? You know, you know what you said. You said she's a false bitch. She's fucking. Did I, have I called anyone a false bitch? Mate, okay. Who, who? Okay, no, let no. me say exactly what he said. If you want to go on like that, right? He said she's a false bitch. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I was sitting with... He was sitting with me, lad. He heard No, excuse said, no, me, no, I have not shit. called anyone a false you bitch did? in this house. He said she's a little false bitch. Follows you. Glenn, 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 that, that, that is so wrong. Like no, 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 can I just speak? I was sitting with Mikey over there and I... We, I did overhear that. No, you did not call... What, who, okay, wait, 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 wait. Who have I called a false bitch to? You said it's to Leah. I need seen you say Again, you were getting the word... Okay, can I, can, I can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Because you're getting the wording wrong. I don't mind, but I don't like to get involved. It's not right. about me. Of course, of course. But now, it's affecting everyone. I've about never you. slagged you off at all. That's all I've said to you is to Caesar in the bedroom, and that was it. I've never right. slagged you off. Okay, can I... I want to tell you something now. Yeah, go I on. am fucking not nominated you this week. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't care. I, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I want to say now, right? I have not nominated anyone. I wasn't allowed to nominate. Okay? Why so, weren't you allowed to nominate? Just that because I wasn't allowed to. Okay. 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 I was not allowed to nominate. So I don't want you to think I started you off. I wasn't going to fucking nominate you anyway. I'll, I'll say the it. truth. Yeah. I'll say the truth. I find you boring and dull, and I think you're plastic. I find you just. I I I just think you're just dull and ordinary. I think you are. And I and I don't mind living in this house with you, but I just don't. You know, yeah, it's I don't connect with you. You're boring. You're stay dull. Away, yeah. And that's it. I feel like I do. And that's fine. And I've said that in the diary, but I've never called you a false bitch. Someone stirring it up, and I'm being attacked and isolated. You are. I think you are plastic. Yeah. What's and that's plastic? my opinion. What is plastic? So I'm Hello, getting it, I'm me. getting it out now. I'm yeah, getting it out right. now. Everyone's got an opinion. Right. Everyone's got a bit. Fine. Ultimately, you Rich, Glyn, I don't think is a liar. Mikey, I know for sure what yeah. opens yeah. mouth. Who did I call a false bitch to? No, because I have not, I would never say false bitch. False I might use, but don't, I will never use the word bitch. Glenn, I can't believe you did that, because you stirred it. Mate, you took it to this level. This was about alcohol, and then all of a sudden you start bringing the Okay, but why am I being attacked, and why are not the people in the room? as well. You know, I've done nothing but try to keep the peace there. I'm like, you guys are like totally attacking me when we're all in. Involved. No, it's not just a 
Everyone Imogen, let's match no, me. I'm not let's like a kid. Me. I'm not you like a kid. Like a I've you heard, are. I've, you you've are. done the most okay. bitching in this Rich. house with Steven. Two of you together. Richard. I've heard what you, I and I haven't gone to what people and told you. I've heard you slag off Leah. When? I've in the bed the last night. You've said hello. You don't like her because she's crass and crude, and you don't have the fucking to stand up to her. You did say that. You no, I'm not lying. You said that. I heard you say you're tired of her language. You will see on TV what I have said about you, and there's nothing fucking bad. Right? I've and heard the conversation. Kind of false twat Rich. No, Rich. I'm not a false twat. You, you know what? You are, you are a bit of a weasel, mate, because you are very two faced and you're very conniving. I'm and you're not two faced. Yes, you I've been trying to. You are a slime. No, ball, mate. I'm you not. Are I'm being completely you're ganged up on. No, I'm not you're being, being hurt. Ganged up on because you're the confrontational person in the house. No, I was trying to make a point. I was simply trying to make a point. Oh my I God. can't believe yeah, this. Bring up shit for nothing. We'll go to bed yeah, because you're dull and boring and ordinary. Yeah. And just oh, and sit in show, Caesar's yeah. arms I'm because you're dull and boring and ordinary and you're plastic, and and plastic, plastic ordinary, dull, dull, boring, dull, dull, boring. Yes, well, yes, dull and boring. Go to bed. Yes, that's fine. And if I go, that's fine. But you can just sit in Caesar's arms and be false and bold boring and I'm going to stay up and have a blue drink. Yeah, you know, and I'm just going to sit up and have a drink yeah. with my friends. Rich, shut your mouth, mate. You're a fucking prick. Do you know, I'm just, can I, I just want to sit, I'm just going to go sit because... 12.55 a.m. Leah, Lisa, Grace and Imogen are by the bridge to nowhere. That's what I just don't like, the fact that we're all lying and being deceitful to each other. It's bad enough that we can go in that diary room and say but whatever you want and come back and pretend to be best friends with someone. I hate it. I hate it so much. Richard, Pete, Mikey and Caesar are in the living area. You know, so you, you're right, I apologise. Um, you're a smart bloke, right? And I know you're smart with words, and I know you pick <coughs> your words wisely, mm. but to sit there and slag someone off to the face the way you did in a very scornful and bitchy, catty way... No, I was being honest no, with that, her. I no, was being honest with her. You could choose your words, mate. And but simply I, saying someone yeah. chases someone around, you don't need to say that. Why do you need to say it? Because I was being to honest because you, you, you wanted me to be honest oh, with her. I could think you're the ugliest bloke in the world, but if you've done nothing to me, why am I going to tell you that? And that's fine. Why would I need to say that to you? Why would I want to put you down like that? That's just my opinion, and I'm being honest with her. Oh, come on, Rich. No, you're being a prick. You are no, I'm not being a prick. You, you put you me, you, you, no, you, you you've held me up against the wall no, and you've not given me... Rubbish. Now you're trying to talk like you're bullied. You're the bully, you're not the bullied. Don't talk I'm not like that. being a bully. Yes, you are. Because you've bullied that girl there and then. Right? I have not and bullied you got away her. You with asked it. me. You fucking got away with bullying that girl, right? You sat there, you were scornful to her, you picked fucking brutal words, and you got away with it because you can. They yes? weren't brutal because words. They, they were, they were fucking, honest she's words. She's a harmless little child, but right? she's a girl. She's harmless. You're a big grown up fucking man. You should know better than to talk to one. Would you say those words to Leah? Would you call Leah a dirty fucking horse? I would. Well, no. Is that if what you, you think of her? That, if you thought that of her, would you call her that? No matter how much you hate her. No, no, no. You no. So why the fuck are because you going to stand there me. and call the that spot. woman? Why the fuck would you stand there but and you... say to her, she follows people around the house? I didn't say she followed. Yes, you fucking did, you lying. This is Big Brother. Would Caesar come to the diary room immediately? Bang out of order, you are. Hello. Caesar, just take a moment to simmer down. I'm all right, man. I'm all right. I'm calm. I just got a little bit upset. I wasn't going to do anything, though. It's all cool. I'm calm. Yeah, yeah, but the, on the only problem, the only situation that arose was when the situation changed from... Well, how did it get from the booze to the insults? I can't... I can't no, but I can't Rich, Rich brought, how did it brought get up from... the... You know what, Mikey, Mikey, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to... I'm going to leave, so it doesn't oh, really matter. No, 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 it, no, look, you're right. I'm, I'm wrong in so many ways. It's just... No, it's not about being right or wrong, mate. What I'm saying, what I'm saying. Look, it's fine. No, it's mate, you, I've seen, you've seen me. No, it's fine. You've seen it's me sit back for the, past, for the past two weeks while I've been here. No, because it's just a bit too... Come on, baby, come here, come here. Stop fighting. Just go... Look, you're here for me. No, it's OK. You don't have to leave this because someone's had a disagreement. Everyone no, has disagreements. No, you don't. No, this is how I thought with Lisa yesterday, but you helped. Dickie! <sighs> You'll be all right, Lee. <sighs> 
1.06 a.m. Imogen, Caesar and Mikey are in the garden. I won't say to anyone in his house nasty things like that. And for him to turn and say, I don't care, I, I said what I said and I meant it, no, nah, mate. Did you say that? Actually? I was up there. Yeah, you was out there. That's when I flipped on. That's yeah. where I fucking started losing it. Mate, you know it. what, though, lad? Fucking don't even, don't even get aggressive with him, lad. Because what's the point? Mm. What's the point, lad? I want him to stay in his house because me and him, we're ghosts to each other now. I don't see him. Leah, Nicky, Pete and Richard are outside the diary room. You can't leave. Hey, you can't go. It's You've okay. got to be there for my eviction. It's okay. It's okay. You've got to be there for my eviction. It's okay. Dickie, I can't do this it's without okay. you. Dickie. Hi, Richard. Hi. You okay? No. The worst thing that I wanted to happen when, when I came in here was that I would become a bully. And I try not tried not to be, but some I think I might have been or become a bully. Um in the process. I don't know. I think one of the disappointing things about what's happened tonight was that no one really sort of ran to my defence or came to my defence and I felt very much attacked. Um because I don't think I have any friends in this house, so I couldn't Confusing. stick up for him. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. in edgeways. It's all different points of views. I didn't know what the fuck was going what on. What could we say? I couldn't say. I couldn't get my... I couldn't. I couldn't if I could down a ward, but I couldn't. I couldn't physically <coughs> do it. Richard, who have you been closest to during your time in the house? Well, I thought of you people, but apparently not, so... I don't think I'm really close to anyone in this house, if I'm honest. Um, like I said, you know, I was quite surprised even with someone like Glenn, because apparently he told... Mikey, something that I had supposedly said which was completely wrong. Here I was thinking that someone like Glenn was, you know, a friend of mine. I, f I feel more betrayed at the moment, that's the thing. And like I said, people like Pete and Leah and Lisa, you know, who I've sort of helped build the bridges of their friendship again, didn't even sort of step in. So... One forty-two a.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Imogen, Leah, Caesar, and Lisa are in the lounge. As far as I'm concerned, now me and Richard, sorry, can't rectify it. You know, he can say sorry to Imogen, it means nothing. As far as I'm concerned, Listen, I'm such a nice person. I was like, it's fine, fine. I mean, why am I so fucking nice? Why am I? Fuck off, you know. No, but I'm such a nice person. You are. I would just be like, it's cool, let's forget about it. So cool. many times I've said that to people, it's cool, let's forget about it. No, I'm sick of people walking all over me. Pete and Richard are by the bridge to nowhere. Now, what is, what is, it, what is it about them, though? They're so fucking... About what? Just so kind of... You know, like... I told her, I told her, I told her <coughs> Imogen, what was... Uh... You know, pissed me off about her when they were but, like, all, but, all copying know, her, yeah, the, but... the new girl, taking a piss out of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said yeah. that to you her. See, I said, you... I said but, you know, that's, that's, why, that's why I've had a problem with you lately, Imogen. She goes, well, the thing is, yeah, when someone new comes in, that's what happens. You do that thought. Like, so, no, we but, don't. But wait, they, he gives me the lecture on double standards and they're doing the exact same thing. <coughs> they, have issue, they have an issue with me because I'm, I'm, you know, making a few little remarks and yet they go and do the same, you know, and then he tells me that it's a double standard. So, you know, I get in trouble for, for saying to Imogen, you know, I find you false, I find you dull, I find you transparent, but they're able to make fun of the new girl, and they didn't, yeah. they didn't exactly welcome her, did they? Oh, exactly. the I said exactly. I said and Caesar was really up. attacking with her, and he's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, he wasn't, when he's asking questions. Yeah, and nice. sometimes it's not, sometimes it's not, um, you know, it's not in how you construct your sentences or the words you say, but it can be in the tone like, in the way you address yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the questions are shit. I think they just are like, the wankers! All my threats is in context. <laughs> I love it when that happens. <laughs> Wankers! <laughs> <laughs> Leah, Richard and Caesar face eviction from the Big Brother house. Who goes? You decide. To evict Leah, call 090 3237 Or 7. To evict Richard, call 090 
32, 33, 12. To evict Caesar, call 090 32, 33, 13. Or text the name of the housemate you want to evict to 8444.